wrong bread. <laughs> it's Laura's world famous. No, it's no. Chuck's, Chuck's world. In my world, it's famous. I love the I love cornbread. I love this cornbread, and we've kind of just experimented with the recipe until we've got it just right. Yeah, it's a little different every time. It's a little different every time. But uh, basically, we started with what, what did we start with, Laura? Uh, two cups of this quick, and six or seven forkfuls of <laughs> cornmeal. About four, about a cup of cornmeal. Didn't that what we figured? Um, yeah, probably two to one. Yeah, okay. Sounds about right. I don't know where we first got the idea for the uh, cornbread sausage pie. You don't remember? That was in Eureka. That was while we, we were, were in, in Eureka. Eureka. Yeah. I, yeah, but how did it come up? I can't no, remember. No, we had that really cool um, market that we used to go Oh, to. yeah, and they had the sausage. And they had the sausage. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So. We tried to figure out something to do with the sausage because we're not really big sausage eaters. Okay. And, oh, one egg. Okay. <laughs> no, we're not big sausage eaters, but about two tablespoons of maple two syrup. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. Don't worry, we'll have this all written down for you. <laughs> Won't we? <laughs> okay. And that is powdered milk? Yeah. And you're putting in how much? Four ounces. One cup of non-fat dry milk. Two, three, four. That's eight ounces of water. We know that because we know how much our pump pumps per stroke. It just so happens, just so happens that one pump up or down will fill a shot glass. So you're mixing up what? Egg, water, and powdered milk in there? Is that correct, honey? That is correct. Okay, what's next? Um, oh, a little salt. Yeah, just a pinch of salt. Add to the dry ingredients. Well, we've been spending a little bit of time looking around YouTube lately, huh, Laura? Yeah, got uh, some cool new friends. So yep, found another uh, Vega 27. Some people on the Atlantic side that are, <laughs> that are crew. Whoops, what? <laughs> <laughs> Move my bag. Get it over here. Uh, yes. Anyhow, the sailing ves vessel Velocir. And they have a nice YouTube channel and blog. We'll give you a link to that. Everything all ready to rock. Yeah, lighten the stove. Chuck went out and killed a... Killed a sausage. Killed a sausage. Killed a sausage beast. <laughs> Field dressed it. So we don't eat too much sausage. Um, no, Chuck sounded pretty excited about sausage and bacon and cornbread. <laughs> but uh, we don't get sausage very often. We actually don't get meat very often. Yeah. Uh, probably not more than once a week lately. Uh, it's been longer than that. Although, you know, we'll have bacon and eggs, or bacon's always good with pancakes. Bacon good with cornbread. Bacon good with almost anything, actually. Bacon's really good with Uncle Tom's beans. All right, stop with the bacon already. <laughs> Seriously, though. We are going to have a nice vegetable uh, vegetable stew. And uh, the sausage... What do you call it? This is just going to be chuck. Yeah, it's pretty rich, though. You really can't eat too much of it. Seriously, you can't eat that much of it. But it's no, this will last us for this will last us for three days. Several meals, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we'll have it probably tomorrow morning with scrambled eggs. Ooh. So we'll have some for lunch and a, you know a small piece for dinner, and then. You know, and we had some last night too, didn't we? Yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit of what? Sausage. Yeah. Yeah, we had sausage. Yeah, this is, oh yeah, she should point out yeah. that we're only using half we're a pound. We're using half a pound of this sausage. I actually, we had sausage and eggs last night, which is, again, pretty rare for us, but. 
So we're going to uh, cook up the sausage and then add the onions about five minutes before. I don't like to cook them all the way through because they finish cooking. Yeah, everything will finish cooking in the uh, pot. That was the, the, one of the experiments with getting it right was uh, I was cooking them too much and then it would like overcook in the, uh -huh. in the cornbread. So. Yeah, it's um, not an exact science getting the temperature right on that with that cast iron pot, yeah. but hey, it works. Once you got it down, it really. Oh, yeah. And so our next thing I think is we're gonna look around and uh, get a recipe for some tortillas. Because I haven't made tortillas and this would be perfect to. Perfect As I recall, it's pretty simple. Yeah, it's just flour and water and salt or something. So if anybody has a tortilla There's recipe. If, if, if I remember right, it's like flour, lard, salt, yeah. baking soda, or something like that. So pretty simple so stuff. Send me a recipe some tortillas. So we're going to turn that burner down nice and low and we've already preheated the top of Okay the top. so you, what do you do? You put the thing on the top, the oh the lid, you preheat the lid so the lid's hot. Got it. So those are both preheated and ready to go. Okay. Part of the cornbread mix. Keep a little bit back. And we've already drained all the sausage, so that's ready to go. We're just going to put that nice and even. <laughs> right in there. And that's still on the heater, so that's nice and hot. And we're going to cover that and not peak. <laughs> what are you? And not peak for 40 to 45 minutes. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm saying that's how I learned how to make this is you can't peak because it doesn't work very well if you peak. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> And 50 minutes, we checked it a few minutes ago. Still a little soft on the top, but if I let that cook too much longer, it's going to get really hard. So, what I'm going to do is crank that up, and flip that over. And then I'll actually cook the cook the top for just a few minutes. Holy and cow! Get, make it nice and crusty. Hey! Don't forget and leave it on there. How long are you gonna leave? How long are you leave it like that? Like a minute. A minute? Yeah, not very oh, okay. long. Okay, not very long. Just long enough to brown the just top of the. Just long enough to brown the top, and okay. that'll cook that little bit on the top here pretty quick. Okay, cool. Meanwhile, I've been preparing for the veggie stew. And every time we make it, it's a little different, so. Yeah, so I'm just finishing up washing all the vegetables. And we're going to add... Uh, Thinking about the spinach, you're going to add it in yep, at the beginning or at the end? It. Just throw it all in a pot, huh? Yeah, I think I'll just throw it all in. It only cooks for half an hour, so it's not like it's going to be like bad cooked. Yeah. It'll be good. So the pressure cooker is a nice big pot. It's the only big pot we have. So it, like everything else on the boat, if possible, it does double and triple duty. Back over to the vegetables. We're all getting ready. I think that uh, cornbread's probably ready to take off. Make sure the stir fry is 
stove is off. Moment of truth. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's loose in the pan. That's yeah. a good sign. So, that's a good sign. Quick. That's great. That means it didn't stick anywhere around. Yeah. Oh, it smells. It smells so good. Bree smells it too. What are you doing? Flipping it back over. Flipping over. Flipping over. Oh yeah. And there we go.